Hello, Blood Talk fans. Today we are still on the topic of phlebotomy. The quality of the test results is based on the quality of blood draw. Last week we talked about specimen rejection criteria. Today we will try to collect the best blood draw specimens in the correct order of draw. In today's video, I will include the correct order of draw, why we need to collect in this order, and how additive carryover can interfere with laboratory results. Without further ado. Let us click that like button, share, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell. Why do we need to follow the order of draw? The reason that we have an order of draw is to prevent carryover of additive from one tube to the next and interfere with testing results. You may ask, how does the carryover happen when you draw only one tube at a time? Well, it happens during the drawing process. You see, the needle has two ends. One end is in the patient, and the other end is in the tube. As you fill up the tube with blood, the blood mixes with the additive and get onto the back end of the needle, which will go into the next tube and mix with the blood and additive in that tube. This can happen with fully filled tubes and not filled tube. The anticoagulant coating on the sides of the tube mix with the blood as soon as it enters the tube. The blood and anticoagulant mixture can get onto the back end of the needle at any time. Why would this carryover be a problem? If you draw purple top tubes before your green top tubes, the carryover from purple tubes can cause faulty Heinz potassium. If the patient is borderline low, then the little bit of carryover can push the patient to a normal level, which can lead to a medical mistake of not treating the patient. The same thing applies if the patient is borderline high. The carryover can push the patient to a critical level and trigger emergency response. I also talked about this carryover in the specimen rejection criteria. If you want to know more about this in detail, please check it out at the end of this video. Just a quick reminder, the purple top tube has EDTA as anticoagulant, which is high in potassium. The anticoagulant that is in the green top tube is the heparin, which is a preferred tube for potassium analysis because it doesn't have the added potassium that would interfere with the testing results. Another example is if you collect a clot activation tube and then have a carryover to a tube for coagulation test, which is the blue top tube. This can interfere with the test results as well. Here is the correct order of draw based on CLSI recommendation. Blood culture bottle or yellow top tubes or royal blue top tubes. I will talk about the royal blue top tube a little bit more in detail in a later slide. Coagulation tube, light blue top. Serum tube with or without clot activator, red top. Serum tube with or without gel separator, gold or tiger top. Heparin tube with or without gel separator, dark green top. EDTA tube, purple or lavender top. Glycolytic inhibitor, gray top tube. Now, let me talk about the royal blue top tube a little bit. If a royal blue top tube or tan tube is being collected for trace metal analysis, the tube should be collected first or by another second vena puncture if blood culture are also being ordered. This is to ensure that there's no trace metal contaminations on the needle from puncturing the previous tube stopper. A separate venom puncture for trace metal analysis must be performed if blood culture are ordered at the same time. If the patients had an order for both blood draw, trace metal analysis, and blood culture, the pubotomus should have two separate draw because both blood culture and the royal blue top tube must be the first tube. Okay. Here is a summary table for a quick reference. I'm also gonna give you a memory jargon. When I was learning Pobotomus, my teacher gave me the memory jargon of stop like red stay put, 
green light go. However, that's never really stick with me. I make my own. The way I remember is, royal boy love red, good girl love gray. So, royal is the royal blue top tubes. Boy is blood culture bottle. Love stand for light blue top. Red is the red top. Good is the gold top tubes. Girl is the green top tube. The second love is for lavender top tube, and gray is just the gray top tube. Feel free to use my memory jargon if that help you. That is all for today video. Order of draw. After more practice of drawing blood in this order, and it will just become a second nature to you, and you will not have to worry that your technique interfere with patient test result or not. This is a short video, but packed with information. Feel free to come back to it at any time. Thank you for staying with me until the end. What do you want to know next? Do you want to know more about blood bank, chemistry, or microbiology? If you have any burning questions, please feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I'll do my best to get to it. Lastly, if you have not done so, please like, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell. I will see you in the next episode of Blood Talk. As always, remember, your blood tells you the story of your health. Thanks for watching. Bye.